River otters are more narrowly distributed in North Dakota, but they're probably as widely dispersed today as they were historically before North Dakota was settled. Their primary distribution is the Red River Valley and its tributaries, but they've also been found in the Mouse or Soros River complex, the Missouri River, Little Missouri complex. Um, some of the other major rivers flowing into the Missouri River, like the Cannonball and the Knife River, has had some detections of, of river otters on them as well. River otter populations in North Dakota are dependent on certain types of habitat. They really like riparian areas, streams, and river corridors that have more timber around them. And you know, we have a lot of prairie streams in North Dakota, and those prairie streams are very cyclic in nature where they can have boom and bust water cycles. And, and river otters just need a little bit more consistency in their habitat from one year to the next to be able to inhabit that stream or river corridor or those ponds. Another key component to their survival is food. They're eating reptiles, amphibians, fish, also a lot of crayfish, mussels. There's been a trapping season for river otters in North Dakota for the last five years because their populations are stable and expanding into new areas. We have opened a, a limited regulated trapping season on them. Only 25 river otters can be taken by trappers in the state. Um, starting in late November when their fur is prime and that resource is available. Um, and then the season stays open until that harvest limit of 25 is, is met or March 15th, whatever comes first. If you happen to come across a river otter, you can report it by calling the Game of Fish or online at the department's website. That helps us keep track of the river otter distribution in the state and where they're, where they're moving to and, and new areas they may be expanding in. The other main way we keep tr track of river otter population trends, whether the population is going up and down, is actually through the help of those trappers. And most importantly, it goes into a population model that tells us if that population is trending upward or downward or stable. This is Mike Anderson in the North Dakota Outdoors.